Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about our clockwork swing to shoulder into a step back lunge. This exercise is part of a greater series on this topic of the clockwork swing. Clockwork swing is a combination of a bunch of basic movements. The inside circle, where our hand moves towards our center line, our outside circle, where our hand moves away from our center line, our alternating circle, which is inside to outside, the clockwork is where we start resting it on our shoulder. We do it after we do all of our basic swings because if we are not really good at this breaking action, then when we try to do the clockwork, we slam ourselves in the collarbone and cause ourselves injury. Two hands on, outside, swing to the rear shoulder, front shoulder, rear shoulder, rest it on the shoulder, handle parallel to the ground, bring it up, balance point, from our inside circle, swing, catch, balance, establish balance so you don't break your own collarbone. Rest it on your shoulder, lift it up, parallel to the ground. This movement is meant to be done with heavy weights. This is not a super heavy weight, but this is what we had. After we do it standing and work on making sure our rotation is equal inside and outside with both our left and our right hands, so there are four directions we're trying to get good at. Then we introduce it into a squat. Starting with our inside circle, rest on the shoulder. In this version, point the handle straight ahead. Get down as low as you can, stand all the way up. Rotate to the outside, balance. Push, swing, pull, catch. Set it on your rear shoulder without breaking your own collarbone. Rotate to center for this version of the exercise get down as low as you can, stand all the way up. After that, we move to a surging movement pattern, stepping forward and stepping back. We teach stepping back first with a heavy weight because we want our feet pointed straight ahead in this movement pattern. Oftentimes when people will step forward, if they don't have good foot or knee dynamics already, they might externally rotate, they might collapse their ankle, their knee might not end up in the correct line and they could cause themselves injury. In the interest of getting stronger with less injury, we step back first. Point two feet straight ahead because that's the way we walk. Top hand moves towards our center line. Rotate without moving your feet. Inside circle, rest on the shoulder. Point the club straight ahead. Step back with one knee, put it all the way down on the ground, tuck your tailbone, make your spine vertical, stand all the way up. Rotate towards the outside, top hand moves away from my center line, push, swing, pull, catch. Gently rest the club on our rear shoulder, rotate it straight ahead, step all the way back, tuck your tailbone underneath, stand all the way up, feet pointed straight ahead. Outside circle, Catch on the shoulder, point ahead, touch the knee down, stand up, outside circle, catch, rotate straight ahead, all the way down, all the way up. The discerning movement nerd will recognize that there are a bunch of variations to this idea. Which leg you step back with when the club is on each shoulder determines if it's an ipsilateral or contralateral movement. Contralateral tends to be the one that is a little bit more favored if you are limited on time. That would mean that if the weight is on my right shoulder, I would step back with my right leg so that my left leg is forward. Now when I stand up, my left leg glute is firing across to my right side shoulder when I stand all the way up. When I swing to the other side, it ends up on my left shoulder, step back with the left leg. That way my right leg and my left side are loaded. Contra. The ipsilateral one is fine, it doesn't matter, just the contra tends to be easier to train. The ipsilateral one would mean you would step back with the opposite leg to load the same side leg. Inside circle, rest on the right shoulder, step back with the opposite leg, puts the load same side, same leg. Does it really matter? Yes, absolutely, it totally matters. Whichever one you favor is probably the one that you should put lower on your training priority list. The one that most people need to train the most is contralateral. That means right shoulder, step back right leg, so the left leg is driving across, the load is transferring across your core to the opposite shoulder. With a light weight, not a big deal. With a heavy weight, it turns into a big deal pretty quickly. Simple idea, 
Start by standing, rotate left and right equally well with both hands high, then introduce squatting, moving up and down in relation to the earth, then introduce stepping back, and then later stepping forward and then later stepping to the side. All of these things are built a certain way for a certain reason. People in the modern world are bad at standing up, they're bad at sitting down, they're kind of bad at a lot of things. So we're trying to get people to do all the things to restore basic human movement in the shortest period of time possible.